a realm of information, data, knowledge, and communication. This is Outrage News. Live from the city of Majestic Waterfalls. For the headline. Iligan City opens DSPC 2024. Marcos revolutionizes taxation digital overhaul. Al Jazeera, journalist Hamza al dies in Israeli strike amidst Gaza conflict. El Nino threatens prolonged dry in 56 provinces. 16-year-old Filipino racer Zach David aims for Formula Regional Glory. 2024 Golden Globes, Hollywood Glamour returns after strike. This is Mark Jan Dagoplo bringing you the news that matters. This is Leia Litzelblad giving you the latest and most credible news for today, January 20, 2024. The Liga City opens DSPC 2024. Let's hear the report from Janina McCoy. Illegal City opens DSPC 2024 in St. Michael's College this January 20, 2024 with the theme Empowering Voices, Inspiring Change, Campus Journalism as the Vacant of Life. With a total of 1,116 participants, both private and public and elementary category, and secondary category with a total participant of 532. Marcos Jr. revolutionizes taxation digital overhaul. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. signed the public up on online seven seats. The use of pay and taxes are the modern The law will criticize the tax administration, categorizes taxpayers by size, allow electronic filing, and streamlines tax payments. It aims to boost revenue through digital initiatives, minimize taxpayers' burden, and strengthen taxpayers' right. Representative Sanseta highlights the law's origin in the House, calling it a proud moment for a community on ways and means. Al Jazeera journalist dies in Israel strike against Gaza conflict. During the ongoing Gaza conflict, tragedy struck as Hamza al the eldest son of Al Jazeera's Gaza bureau chief, lost his life in an Israeli strike in southern Gaza. U.S. Secretary of State Antonio Blinken, on his Middle East tour, expressed deep sorrow, emphasizing the toll of innocent Palestinians. The situation in Gaza continues to deteriorate with concerns about the safety of medical facilities. Mr. Blinken acknowledges the profound regional tension and the need for urgent resolution. More news will be delivered when Outreach News returns. In a world filled with laughter of children, it's disheartening to know that nearly 9,000 cases of child abuse are reported each year. But there is hope, a beacon of light. Let's be part of the solution that determined to put an end to child abuse. Help! Please help! help. Help everyone! Stop the child abuse! Initial forecast could impact 56 provinces in the Philippines by April, warns Pagasa. Currently, 14 provinces face a dry spell with northern and central Luzon's agricultural areas at risk. Temperatures high up to 40 degrees Celsius are anticipated. The effects may persist longer than expected, posing challenges to water supplies. Despite the El Nino, Anna Dam's water supply is deep sufficient for now. For this is Seth Carlos Rosal reminding you to stay hydrated. 
Chess 16 Filipino racer Zach David Garza for a monumental 2024 season, eyeing championship contention in Formula Regional Middle East and Formula Regional European Championships. In 2023, he impressed with his debut Formula 4 UAE Championship victory and notable performance in the competitive Italian A4 Championship. This is Janina Magumnang bringing you resilient and inspiring news. In 2024, our season kicks off with the Golden Globes in Los Angeles. Mark Higgy returned to the red carpet after a four months trying to strap to the fans in 2022. Hollywood Day listeners dressed to impress, bringing people good to the event. With a flash of crimson carpet in hopes for a sartorial surprises. While Jillian Anderson's protest, women's rights restrictions with an embroidered dress by Gabriela Hurst. This is your best princess, Princess Love Kaito, your family in Johnny Show is your partner. This is my chat that will blow together with Layla Sabla. Bringing you the news that matters. Stay vigilant, stay informed. And, and good luck from Outrage News. This is Outrage News.